Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jace. Um, today I wanted to do a tag created by Kyra Getchell talking about the tarot decks I wish I lived in. So the first deck that I wish I lived in is the Bumbleberry Hollows Tarot and it is just the most adorable deck and the world is just amazing. It's warm and cozy. The creatures are adorable and it just feels like um, fall and a little bit of summer all the time. There's so much um, food and feasting. Um, there's pies and it's just that cozy harvest feeling. Um, you've got your nice cool drinks. You've got um, pies of fruit. You've got, um, we had like pumpkin pies earlier. We just have adorable creatures. And I just imagine, look at this death card. Isn't that the cutest? I love it. I just imagine if I lived in this world that I would become one of these cute creatures. Maybe I could be like a cute little like hippo or something like that because I love hippos. Um, and just, you know, meet all the creatures and we could just be warm and cozy and enjoy each other's company. So that is the first deck that I wish I lived in. The next deck that I wish I lived in is kind of a little bit of the same. Uh, this is the Other Kintero. Uh, it's a completely different art style, but it has cute creatures in it. Um, it's got animals. It's got anthropomorphic animals. It's got humans. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. It looks like a, a dog-rabbit-fox combo. Um, so cute. Um, it's got mermaids. It just has all of these fantastic creatures in it. And I just want to kind of live in this world and get to know the creatures and be surrounded by nature, meet a mermaid. And it just, it seems like such a soothing place to live. Even some of the more, like, I don't like saying dark cards, but darker cards, um, still don't seem that terrifying um, like they they can in some decks um yeah I just like look at this guy writing a bird how fun would it be and there's like the white hair how fun would it be to just be a part of this world and and be surrounded by n this nature and anthropomorphic animals and I keep saying that but I just feel like it would be so much fun so that's the second deck that I wish I lived in um, the next one is kind of a cheat because it's not just the tarot deck that I wish I lived in um, this is the Dungeons and Dragons tarot and I play Dungeons and Dragons I love it um, and I really just wish I could live in that world and be an adventurer and get my cards out of the box. Um, oh man. <sighs> Gotta hate that. Been to card. Uh, but yeah, like I just want to get to know all of the people and the different races, learn all the lore um, firsthand, do some adventuring, somehow manage to get some cards up right side up and upside down. So I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah, do some adventuring. What is going on here? Uh, maybe meet a dragon, which will be terrifying, but still seems like so much fun. There we go. There's just a couple dragons. Um, yeah, I just I just think going on like a grand adventure would be a fantastic time. So that is the third deck that I wish I lived in. Uh, next up is the Fat Folks Tarot. And this is a completely different reason why I wish I lived in it. Um, the reason I wish I lived in this deck is because I just wish that the world really was accepting and, you know, 
saw fat people in the way that this deck sees fat people. Um, it, they're beautiful, they're radiant, they're majestic. Um, they're all of these, you know, positive things. Um, and I think that's true of, you know, fat folks, but it's not as seen in the real world. Um, and I just wish I lived in a world that, that experienced um, this kind of like inclusion. And I mean, I would love to know these gorgeous people um, and, and know their stories as well. And, you know, just be surrounded by them and have them like as friends. Um, yeah, I feel like that would just be, you know, a great group of people um, to, to get to know. And I'm finding kind of a trend here is like, I want to know these people, um, which I think is, you know, kind of cool too. Um, it's not just the world, it's the people that I want to be a part of. Um, so my last deck, um, kind of, um, I do have an honorable mention, um, but this is the Trick or Treat Tarot by Barbara Moore. Um, it's a new deck, so I haven't really played with it, but I've done a flip through and I absolutely love it. So I really just, when I, when I go through this deck, I just see like this world, um, where like, it's just like Halloween town where everybody embraces Halloween and it just, you know, you have these creatures, um, maybe they're a creature, maybe they're someone in costume, um, but you have these, you know, creatures and people and everybody's just embracing, uh, Halloween and the fun and joy of the, the holidays um, the holiday, I guess. Um, and I'm a total Halloween person. So I just, I wish I could just live out this Halloween fantasy. He kind of reminds me a little bit of Mr. Rogers. It's kind of, that's interesting. But yeah, I just would love to be able to embrace Halloween just you know, so much more and have a, live in a town that just embraces Halloween. So my next deck that I mentioned is my honorable mention deck. And that is the Halloween Tarot. And the reason this is an honorable mention is because, um, I felt like the reasoning was just way too similar to, um, the trick or treat tarot. Um, but it's this really fun deck. Um, there's ghosties and bats and, uh, you know, all the different creatures and they're real and they live alongside humans. Um, and it just, again, I want, I want to live in ha Halloween town. I want it to be Halloween all the time. And I want to know, you know, all the little ghosties and ghouls and, you know, play tricks and get treats and all of those things. So that is my honorable mention deck. Um, and those are my decks that I would want to live in. And again, that is the Halloween Tarot, the Trick or Treat Tarot, the Fat Folks Tarot, the Otherkin Tarot, the Bumbleberry Hollows Tarot and the Dungeons and Dragons Tarot. Um, this tag was so much fun to just go and like look through all of my tarot decks and narrow it down to five, well, six decks that I would want to live in. Um, and I really appreciate Kyra for creating this tag. Um, and I really hope to see other people do it because it's just so much fun and I love to see what other people think um, would be a great place to live within tarot. Um, so that is all for today. Thank you and have a great day.